friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Tara and I are here today to talk to you about some brand new books that we've just recently read that we are super excited about, and we hope that you will also find them exciting and maybe check them out from the library. So the very first one is super unique, and I was just completely sucked into the story, absolutely loved it, and it's called Kingston and the Magicians Lost and Found. And this is by two authors, actually, Rucker Moses and Theo Ganji. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I hadn't heard of this book before, but I had to check it out from the library as soon as I saw it because look at this cover. Isn't this cover amazing? It's so colorful and there's just so much going on. You're just dying to know what happens in this book, right? I was too, which is why I had to pick it up. And I blew through it because it's absolutely amazing. So this is a t sort of story that I like to call um, like contemporary fantasy or urban fantasy, which means it takes place in real life in a real city um, or part of a real city, actually, in this book's case, um, and uh, involves some kind of magic. So this is about a story. This story is about a young boy named Kingston who, when he's eight years old, his father disappears. And I don't mean disappears like he left the family or he's just, you know, not in the city. He didn't move. He moved out of the city. No, he disappeared into another realm. Because you see, in Echo City, Brooklyn, magic is real. People know about it. It's just a thing that exists. Everybody knows. So his dad is gone. His mom can't cope. So they leave the city, move out into the suburbs. Now, it's four years later and they've come back. So Kingston is now 12. And he realizes that it's not just his dad that's gone, but magic is gone from the city as well. What? So now he basically has two quests. He has to try to find out what happened to his dad, but he's also got to try and find out what happened to this magic and try to restore it. Uh, and the way he's going to do that is because he has located what's called the Magician's Lost and Found, which is like this portal to, um, to other worlds. So he's got a couple different people on this quest, these quests with him. His cousin Veronica and his friend uh, that he knew when he was growing up called Too Tall Eddie. I love Too Tall Eddie. Too Tall Eddie is absolutely hilarious. Um, so they've got this quest to try to find magic and his dad. I absolutely loved everything about this book. It was just so unique and refreshing. The characters were amazing and not just Kingston. I absolutely loved Kingston, but Veronica and Too Tall Eddie were amazing as well. And I loved every moment with them. If you're looking for something different, if you like fantasy, uh, if you like realistic stories and you like stories that are kind of somewhere in the middle of that, um, this is a wonderful, a wonderful book to read. And this Kingston and the Magicians Lost and Found. Now, the next one I am also really excited about, it's called Wilder Lore, The Accidental Apprentice by Amanda Foodie. Amanda Foodie actually writes a lot of young adult books, and that was where I um, knew her name from, so I wanted to read this because of that automatically, but then I was just totally sucked into the story. And it's got a lot of animals in it, which is really cool, as you can just tell from the cover. So it kind of fits into our theme of Tales and Tales for summer reading. Um, so this is about a young boy named Barkley who does not fit in in the village that he lives in, Dunshire. He is a mushroom gathering apprentice. His hair is wild. He's dirty all the time. He's always wanting to run around and be crazy. Um, and this town that he lives in is very full of rules, right? You're not allowed to run around. You have to have your hair cut short. You have to be clean. You have to do this. Blah, blah, blah. So boring. So, so, so boring. So... Um, the reason why this town is like that is because they are terrified of beasts. And beasts are these animals that can bond through magic with their, um, with their companion people called lore keepers. And lore keepers are kind of like magicians. Um, they can perform magic, but only when they are, um, bonded with their animal. So Barclay doesn't want anything to do with this. His parents, he's basically an orphan because his parents were killed by this mythical beast, um, but then one day when he is near the forest gathering mushrooms, he, um, by accident, or is it, bonds with this big mythic beast that's like a wolf, who he names Root. So he's cast out of his village and he makes some new friends. He has to go to this other village and learn what it means to have this beast. And first he's trying to get rid of it because he just doesn't want it anymore. So the beasts, when they're not right with their people, ha are um, manifesting this like golden tattoo on their skin, which is a really cool idea too. 
So he gets to this next village. He becomes friends with a couple of the other kids there that want to be lore masters. Um, and he enters into this basically competition um, because one of the masters say, hey, if you win first place in this competition, I'll teach you how to get rid of this beast. So he's now in this competition against all these people, all these kids that have known about lore, magic, and beasts their whole lives. And he is definitely um, not sure what he is doing. So I love this book for a lot of different reasons. The writing was fantastic. Um, Barkley is just such an outcast and a misfit. I loved him so much because of that. I think we've all felt like that every once in a while, right? Um, but I also really like the competition aspect of the book too. I love, love, love stories like that. Um, I love in Harry Potter, like the house is competing, um, and then Hunger Games and stuff like that. So this was a little bit, had a little bit of that competition aspect too, with different kids vying for first place, um, and trying to show off their beasts and their beast skills. So absolutely love this book. It's really fun, has a lot of really cool, interesting animals in it. Um, and it's really neat at the end as well. They have this little log of beasts dangerous beasts a traveler's log of dangerous beasts and they like list all the different kind of animals that you can bond with and it's really cool so a really awesome story i loved it um if you like animals if you like adventure stories if you like action if you like fantasy this is a great book for you in this wilder lore the accidental apprentice so this is the first book this is going to be part of a series um and it's definitely the first book so there will be more to come which is great Thank you so much, my friends. I hope that they sound really cool and interesting. If so, feel free to come and get them from the Farmington Community Library. Um, you can put them on hold and, and come in through curbside or just come into the building and see us that way as well. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.